go to the Super Bowl, every owner would jump on that. They would jump all over it, you know. So, yeah, they are doing him dirty. They are. The man has, he opted out of a contract that he didn't have to. He opted out of a contract. Uh, That's his decision, you know, so you got to respect that decision. But he decided to take a stance on something that he believed in, and they are treating him like, like he beat somebody. Like he stole something, like he killed, like, like, here's my thing. This is, this is my, uh, this is my thing about it. And I see your comment, Mocha, and I'll just say something in just a second. Shouts out to Grego that's in the building. If you are an owner, uh, the, here's my thing. And I know it's a game. It's a game. I can say this because I'm not, I'm not in the game. I'm not playing the game. But my whole thing about this is that if you want to say, uh, hey, man, I just I just can't get down with that. What he did, you know, I, I'm not saying that it was wrong or whatever, but I'm just not cool with it. I think I could respect that. I think I could respect, you know, like, yo, I just don't want to have to deal with that. You know, on my team, I don't want nobody doing that. I want everybody, you know, this, that, that, and the third. Now, of course, you're going to get problems with people like, oh, you trying to tell them what to do. You know, and all this stuff. My problem is, is that you want to try and tell me that, yeah, all, oh, you know, um, you know, he done lost weight or, you know, um, he, he he can't play, you know, on a team or something. You, you're coming up with, with stuff. You got 32 teams. You mean to tell me it's not one team, not one team out there that Colin Kaepernick could fit in with with some of the guys that you've picked up? That's where I got my problem. Because you're feeding us a, a, a bunch of baloney. You're feeding us, you know, uh, uh, that corporate talk, you know, um, and, and want us to believe that. No, this is what it is. Either your sponsors or somebody, your fans or whatever, they they don't like it. It's going to affect your money. So just go with that. Just go. You ain't got to say it's going to affect my money. Look, we looked over it right now. That's not the best interest of what's good for this football team for him to come here. Boom, move on, you know, on it. But there is some teams, you know, even if he's a bridge quarterback, I mean, Blaine Galbert is a bridge quarterback. Brian Hoyer is a bridge quarterback. Uh, McCown, both of the McCown boys, they're bridge quarterbacks. Ryan Fitzpatrick, a bridge quarterback. You bring a man for a year, two years or whatever, you mean to tell me you couldn't bring in Colin Kaepernick to be a bridge quarterback to start for your team? You know, uh, if, if you're, you know, someone, you know, uh, uh, that's in dire need of a quarterback, you just want to deal. You just don't want to deal with the distraction. That's what it is. Uh, Mocha Bella brought up a question. She said, what is the NFL Players Association doing? Uh, now, I don't know if they're working on anything behind the scenes, you know, with it, uh, Mocha, but I would hope that, that they're they're trying to do something, you know, or, or point out something, you know, on it because. Here's my thing. Maybe I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. And it doesn't have anything to do with, uh, I'm not bringing up anything about race or anything like that, because it has nothing to do with that. It's more about what can you do for me? We may, uh, uh, for a year, maybe two years, about Tom Brady deflating some balls. How many times did I say, what is the big deal? He, I mean, like y'all are tripping about some deflated balls and people went off about, oh, the NFL is doing such an injustice to Tom Brady. Oh my gosh. If they had any goal, if they had any respect, you know, the guy's been a stand up guy, you know, all this stuff that they went on about deflated balls. It went to court about deflated balls now of course they went they were talking about did he you know comply and all that stuff but at the end of it it was about deflated balls this brother is trying to stand up for some for a social injustice you know that goes on in this country and he's just trying to make a statement he didn't say you know f america or anything like that 
I've seen people burn the flag. Is anybody telling them not to have a job or, or whatever or, or not hiring them? I've seen people spit on the flag, you know, so I'm like, he didn't do anything like that. All I'm saying is, if you if you're not going to have him on your team, just speak the truth. Speak the truth. Don't feed us no bull. Don't feed us no line or anything like that, you know, on it. Uh, and and again, Mocha want to know where Demarius Smith is. I don't know where he is on this. You would think that maybe somebody, you know, other than just individual NFL players will come up and, you know, and, and say something about this. But I think, who was it? Um... Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was speaking about this. Uh, he basically was just getting at, like, you know, for, for this to gain ground, it's, it's, it's going to take a group of people. It's going to take uh, not just one person from one team saying something like Richard Sherman or something like that, especially, like, somebody like Richard Sherman because, you know, people are going to, you know, take his words and be like, oh, but wait a minute, look, at, look who Richard Sherman is and all this stuff. They're going to try and use it against him. If you got a group, if you got a, a a big stance like this petition that they're putting together and this rally that they're putting together, maybe people will listen, you know, on it. But I'm just saying, don't feed us the, the bull crap about, you know, uh, that he can't play, you know, and all this stuff in the NFL. That's that's crap, you know, because it's too many guys I've seen that they put out there and then they recycle and then they end up on another team. And, and I mean, in, in – and, I mean, how many times have we talked about Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing interception after interception or whatever team he's going to go to, he's going to throw interceptions. So, I mean, I don't know. You know, does Colin Kaepernick want to start? Yeah, of course. You know, but that whole starting quarterback versus backup quarterback, that's a whole different discussion. I'm just talking about being on a, a team, being invited to a camp. You can't tell me that he can't be invited to a camp. You're just trying to – you just you're just trying to push that underneath the rug. That's 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 what I think. But uh, shouts out to Grego, who's in the building as well, who joined the show. I'm going to get off that, but I'm going to uh, make sure I read your chats because I'm sure some people done, uh chimed in about this. Uh, Busu was saying Mocha needs to be in the front office because she, she wants some answers and she needs to get some answers. So Mocha, maybe so. Maybe you need to be in the front office and get some answers. Um Sluggo was talking about Kyrie. He said Kyrie needs to step uh, step his game up and become a superstar to garner that sort of attention. Uh, you, but it's only one way that you can do it, Grego. You got—I mean, Sluggo. You got to—you uh, got to be. You can't be under the shadow of the biggest shadow in the NBA. Um, Grego said, "Nice of you, Lopan, to let Jelani run your show." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lopan doesn't do anything, man. I do all the work, and then for whatever reason, Lopan gets all the credit. Lopan, shut up. You didn't have to agree with me on that. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, I guess Lopan does. Um, Sluggo said, as bad as the quarterback position is for the bottom half of the league, the fact that no one has brought him in shows a level of collusion. So uh, Sluggo is chiming in on the whole Colin Kaepernick situation. And of course, like I said, there's, there's going to be a rally and we'll see what happens, you know, from that. Uh, shouts out to Duckin and Dodging, who's in the building as well. Appreciate you for uh, joining in. And Grego said, D. Smith just doing his job, unfortunately. Uh, and then he says L. So I think he means taking the L. Uh, Mocha said, God forbid, if one of the black NFL gets shot and killed by the police, what the NFL going to say? I, that's a whole nother topic, Mocha. I don't, I don't know. We ain't got time to go into that yet. But uh, Lopan, your biggest nemesis just jumped in here. Big L's in the building. Uh, appreciate you for jumping in, Big L. Uh, Lopan has uh, fell back. He's like he's waiting for TDD, TDSS3, you know, to, to handle his beef with Big L. Uh, Grego said the narrative the commentators are saying tonight is football brings everyone together, race, politics, religion aside. Uh, so, yeah, and I, 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 I'm sorry. I totally got away from tonight's game, which, you know, we all know it's going to slow down after halftime because uh, the level of playing is going to be changing. But I did want to give you an update. I told you I would. It's the end of the third and Carolina is up 24-17 uh, over the Houston Texans. Uh, let's see if Deshaun 
Watson, I almost called him Jackson. Uh, see if he's done any improvement. Let me give you that. Uh, 173 yards for uh, 14 for 22. So it looked like they are letting him uh, play the bulk of the game. Uh, he also had three carries for 24 yards and a rushing touchdown. So <laughs> they will be talking about this tomorrow morning about his performance so he looked like he's doing pretty good and my man christian mccaffrey he's uh looked like he's done too he's still at seven rushes for 33 yards so uh that is your update for uh tonight's preseason nfl game grego said watson is looking good so like we were just talking about big l said we will talk low pan low pan said he ain't about that talking bro <laughs> Ain't about no talking. He said he ain't going to be talking when he see you, Big L. Um, so, and Big L said, F the NFL, boycott, hashtag boycott the NFL. So, uh, Big L won't be, I guess he may not be watching the game. Damn sure won't be watching no Bears game because your team stinks, Big L. Yeah, I said it. Now, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I just said it. So, uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break, and then we'll come back, uh, and we'll talk some more football, and, and we'll get into uh, a little bit more about this preseason football games that's coming up uh, this week, and we'll discuss some topics. So for right now, sit back, relax, and we'll be back in about two minutes. Hey, what's up, sports fans? You're looking for a different type of sports talk show, something you haven't heard before. You got to check out the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday on 2 Live Stews Radio, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Sports talk at its finest. Always have great guests playing some good hip-hop. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to tune in to the BS3 Sports Show every other Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Hey, what's up, everybody? Vince Wright, the sports governor from the great state of Minnesota. Join the rest of us sports zombies on 2 Live Stews Radio. That's right, the boys are back. Doug, Ryan, and the rest of us, including me, the sports governor of Minnesota, Vince Wright, also known to the ladies as the Big Smooth. Keep it tuned here. That's right, 2 Live Stews Radio. And all resistance to a crumble. Nonsense. There's never been a threat. Squad. Couldn't handle. It is the purpose of the squad to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us the rulers of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me and hear me good. If you like sports, then you like the Wait a Minute Show. If you like comedy, then you like the Wait a Minute Show. If you like a different opinion coming from a different angle, then you like the Wait a Minute Show. So join me Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with your host, Jelani J.B. Bodie. And of course, my man Lopan on the Wait a Minute Show. Right, no Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to It's the Wait a Minute Show on the Two Live Stews Radio Network. So you just heard. Uh, also, I do a show on Saturdays as well, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, join me on that on the wait a minute show dot com. Uh, you can listen in just like you're listening in now. Just go to the website and click on episodes or I do double duty and you can watch me on Facebook live as well. Uh, brother just got a haircut, so I'm looking kind of good. So if you do want to see this brother, ladies, let me know. Tune in, you know, and we can talk all this stuff about sports. And then Lopan also will be somewhere in the building. Indeed. Yes, Lopen. We know. Uh, so let's get into a little college football uh, and, and 
I told you we'll get into the preseason. So we'll get to the preseason in just a moment. But I want to touch base on a story coming out of uh, California with uh, UCLA QB Josh Rosen. So 